here we go. What is new, YouTube? It's Moose. I bring you guys a, another Black Ops 3 live commentary cut com thingy ma bobber ish thing. Yeah. So I thought, I really thought I was going to have like a, an ample amount of time today to uh, make this video, to make a couple videos maybe even. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later in the week about why I need to make more than one video. The only problem is I'm one of those guys where like if I find something wrong with the quality of the stream or something I just don't like, I'm very picky about it. And I found some stuff. Actually, a couple things. It was, yeah, it was actually a couple things that I found that I didn't didn't really want. I wanted to change. I wanted to make better. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I wanted to make them better. I wanted to bring better, more quality content to you guys, which is always my goal. I even tweeted that this morning. There's something like quality content is my number one goal, and it really is. And I think my biggest issue is just that the amount of stuff I'm doing usually kind of gets in the way or doesn't give me the amount of time I think I need to make a video. And I know that can kind of cut down on the quality of the amount of time I put into a video. And I have some ideas that I actually want to change um, some stuff try to make videos earlier in the day or even the day before. So then I can have the most time to make the most quality content for you guys. And I'm actually really excited about that. All right, but that has nothing to do with today's video at all. Literally at all. Is this guy going to reject? There he goes. Today, I wanted to talk about the next Call of Duty. I know it's really early. It's not even freaking, I don't even know what month it is. It's early, okay? It's There's a bunch of time left in Black Ops 3, which I'm good with. Usually about this time or pretty soon here. I'd be like hating on the current Call of Duty and just really wouldn't be happy with where it sits or, I mean, that's just kind of how the trend's gone the past couple years. But you know what? Not this year. I'm actually really content with Black Ops 3 currently. and I know they're just going to keep bringing out really fun DLC. So you know what? I'm good. But that's not going to stop me or really any other YouTube from talking about Ghost 2 or whatever the hell people want to talk about. And Ghost 2, that actually is a big discussion because some magazine, maybe Game Informer, something like that, um, published something talking about Ghost 2 and people thought they were like 100% confirmed that they leaked it, which none of that's true. And Charlie Intel, actually a very like credible Call of Duty source, confirmed that it wasn't leaked. It goes to, they were just saying it's probably a game that most people want, which probably isn't true either. And I'm just going off on a big rant here. So anyways, the next Call of Duty, I don't think it's going to be Ghost 2 and neither does Charlie Intel. And by the looks of Infinity Ward, it doesn't look like they're making Ghost 2. And if you really look at like Infinity Ward, and their company, it wouldn't make much sense for them to make a Ghost 2, since Ghost 1, it wasn't the worst COD, but I wouldn't say it went over the best. So on their part, it's definitely probably a smarter idea to try and make something different, something new, which is what they're going to do. So Infinity War has confirmed that they're making this year's Call of Duty title, but they have also confirmed that they're making a new innovative title for this year. So it's something new. It's not Modern Warfare 87, Black Ops 35, not even World of War 2. But we're looking for something new this year, which I'm pretty excited about. I just feel like it's way too soon for me to be talking about this, though. Like, Black Ops 3 is still like, in its prime. Now, this morning on Twitter, for some reason, at least on my Twitter feed, there was like a huge, not like argument, but a huge discussion about Call of Duty and what the next one should bring and what's good and what's bad and bringing stuff from old Call of Duties. And there was just a huge discussion. And to be honest, the Call of Duty community can be pretty ruthless, actually, a lot of the time. Time. So I don't want to like disagree and piss somebody off, but I'm just going to put my ideas out there. Now this game has probably more than likely been in the works for quite a while already. And anything anybody's saying right now is probably not going to change what the game's actually going to be like. But I would really enjoy seeing an old time Call of Duty. Now by old time, I just mean no jetpacks, just normal movement where you walk, you jump like this and you you could slide i mean that makes sense but like if you guys have played world at war mw2 cod 4 like just an old time call of duty with maybe some new things that you threw in there i don't know really the movement is what i care about if the movement is good the maps are good there's some overpowered weapons in there. It's going to be a fun game, but not too many new things because they always seem to fuck that up. Always. And heck, if they even want to throw in the Black Ops 2 league play system, do it. Not the Black Ops 3 league play system, but it's not as fun. It's not. They're close, but there's such a big difference in there that the, it's not fun. Black Ops 2 league play ranking system would make would make a game perfect. Copy and paste it. Also, no extinction. Don't Please don't put extinction back in. Put the work that you're going to put on extinction into multiplayer, please. A good, decent storyline in the campaign and a great multiplayer is all I ask, which is a lot to ask for now that I'm saying it out loud. So if you guys have any ideas on what you think maybe the next Call of Duty's title is going to be, I mean, there's really no bad guess since nobody knows. Infinity Ward, please don't let us down. 